Doctor Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Doctor Jang. Welcome back to my channel. Today's story is about a quadrilateral, which is a flat, closed figure with four straight sides. What could you do if you were quadrilateral? This book shows lots of variations of what classifies as a quadrilateral and gives you an idea of what you could be. Don't forget to watch all the way through, because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? If you were a quadrilateral, by Molly Blasto, illustrated by Francesca Caravelli. Quadrilateral, a flat, closed figure with four straight sides. If you were a quadrilateral, you would make playtime lots of fun. If you were a quadrilateral, you would be a flat, closed figure with four sides. All your sides will be straight. The animals love to paint. They love painting quadrilaterals most of all. If you were a quadrilateral. You will be a polygon with four sides. A polygon is a closed figure with three or more straight sides. Mariana hangs her picture on the wall. She hopes she wins. First prize is a new set of paints. If you were a quadrilateral, you would have four angles. An angle is the measurement between two sides at a corner. The bases are loaded. The terrific Tukins need one more run to win. Louise gets ready to swing. If you were a quadrilateral, you could be a rectangle. Each pair of opposite sides will be the same length. All your angles will be the same size. Alice plays tennis with Anna. Neither one of them plays well, but they both have a blast. If you were a quadrilateral, you could be a square. Your sides will all be the same length. Your angles will all be the same size too. Bruna plays checkers with Lucas. They place all their pieces on the black squares. If you were a quadrilateral, you could be a rhombus. Your sides would all be the same length. Each pair of opposite angles would be the same size. A square is a type of rhombus, but rhombuses can take many shapes. Pedro's band practices every day. One day, the rowdy rhombuses will be famous. If you were a quadrilateral, you could be part of a special family called parallelograms. Each pair of opposite sides will be the same length. The opposite sides would also never touch or cross each other. They will be parallel. Squares, rectangles, 
and rhombuses are all types of parallelograms. Camilla and her family work out at the gym. They stretch, lift weights, and tumble on mats shaped like parallelograms. If you were a quadrilateral, you could be a trapezoid. Only two of your sides would be parallel to one another. Everyone grabs a kite and races up the hill. Last one up is a rotten egg. You could fly high in the sky if you were a quadrilateral. The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need my free printable templates. Print out all the templates and cut out the names of the quadrilaterals and shapes. For several uses, you can laminate and attach velcro dots on every pieces. Remember, if you put hard side on the small pieces, the soft side should go onto the mats. First, provide your kid with the materials to play with. Yes, play! Have them explore the shapes thoroughly by touching the shapes, memorizing the names of quadrilaterals, and reading the attributes of each quadrilateral. After some time has passed, put all the names and shapes on a tray and have your kid match them with the correct mat where the attributes for each type of quadrilateral are printed. Once your kid seems to understand each quadrilateral's attributions fair enough, you can challenge your kid to complete the diagram. There are no labels for each circle, so your kid needs to label all of them. If your kid doesn't know where to start, you can label the largest circle, saying, What could we call all these shapes? We can give the name quadrilateral that is holding all the subparts, right? And your kid can start from there. You can also show shapes as visual cues. If your kid still struggles, you can ask thought-provoking questions like, Can you notice that this section is isolated from the others? What shape do you think that is? Trapezoids only have one set of parallel lines, while all other quadrilaterals have two sets, aren't they? Let your kid go back to work completing the rest of the diagram. This activity goes beyond the use of superficial shape labels. It provides high level of explorations of shapes and helps kids recognize and specify the defining attributes of quadrilaterals. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time!